Hey what's up everyone this is Apple Vibes back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys Mac keyboard shortcuts that are divided in seven categories every category has some keyboard shortcuts you definitely don't know about so check out all the shortcuts and if you are into using your Apple products like a pro if you're like me join me with my journey in becoming a pro and subscribe to my channel now without further ado let's dive in shall we the first set of shortcuts I have for you guys are text shortcuts. You can use it anywhere where you can type text, whether it be pages or notes app or Safari, where you can type text, you can use this keyboard shortcuts. We'll go to the text edit app for this. For the first keyboard shortcut, we'll have to copy something. We'll copy this from Safari and paste it in our text edit app. Now you can see it has been pasted same as it was copied from Safari some of the text is in bold and some is normal but what if we don't want the format to be same so all you have to do is hit shift option command and v for paste and it will paste it without the format you have copied and it can be very handy at times now if you are typing a word and you don't know the exact spelling for example i'm typing this word and i never know the exact spelling for this word all you have to do is hit f5 on your keyboard and it will give you all the plausible spellings or words for the letters you have typed first i'll choose accessibility that's what i wanted to type next one is you can add emoji very conveniently from the keyboard all you have to do is hit control command and spacebar and it will give you this box to add emojis you can even search here i'll search for an emoji happy and you can add it like this directly from here if you want to know a meaning of a word all you have to do is select that word and hit Control, command and d and it will give you this look up option on your macbook you can see it has the meaning it has thesaurus options and all that stuff you can get this information directly from here now what if you have a very long word and to delete that word you have to hit backspace again or you have to hit the backspace you have to keep holding the backspace button to delete that big word but the easier option is all you have to do is hit shift command and delete and it will delete the whole word left side to the cursor directly you don't have to hit the backspace again and again now if you don't want to delete the word but just highlight or select the whole word the big word all you have to do is hit shift command and instead of hitting delete now press the arrow keys left or right depending on where your cursor is i'll select the left one and it highlights the whole word Control b if you want to format it to bold or u control command u to underline it or command i to make it italic now there is something known as hyperlink if you know what is hyperlink you'll know what it is if you don't know i'll show you what i mean by that select the whole word again and just hit command k and it will give you this option to paste a link we just copied a link from youtube i'll paste this link here i'll hit ok and now you can see it has become that text has converted into blue color and very conveniently if you press on this it will take you directly to that link so it has become a hyperlink that text is now become a hyperlink as we are in safari our next set of shortcuts are also in safari command l for going to the search bar directly if you are here you don't want to use the mouse command n it will take you to the search bar type anything and you can hit go if you want to cycle between tabs you can hit shift command and brackets left or right wherever you want to go you can hit the brackets like this but if you don't have a thousand tabs open if you know the numbers if you have i have five tabs open here for example i want to go to the fourth tab i can hit command four and it will take me to the fourth tab if i want to go to the first tab with second tab i'll hit command two and very convenient it will take me to the second tab now if you want to scroll without using the mouse and you don't want it to be very fast use the fn function key and the down or up arrow key and you can scroll very conveniently properly like this but if you want to go to the bottom of the screen directly hit command and down arrow key you'll go to the bottom of the screen if you want to go to top again command and up arrow key you'll go to the top of the page again now if you want to go to the tab view you have to hit shift command and forward slash and it will take you to this tab view shift command forward slash again and it will take you back to the normal view command t to add a new tab and shift command t to open the recently closed tabs something like this the next set of shortcuts I have for you guys are window management shortcuts and there are a lot of shortcuts so I'll try to make it as fast as possible. So the first one is using command tab to cycle between open windows or open apps whatever you can call it. And if you want to cycle through the apps backwards all you have to do is hit shift command and tap and now you can cycle through apps backwards. So now if I have an app open 
for example i have this music app open in windows what we do is we minimize the app so if you minimize the app on macbook command m and then you use this command and tab option to cycle through that windows and open that app again to switch on that app you won't be able to do that on macbook you'll have to go here and you'll have to choose the app to open it but what you can do is you can hit command edge to hide that app and now if you use that command tab option again it will show that app instantly so remember don't minimize your app just hide it now if you want to use now if your desktop is filled with apps like this and you want to focus on one of your app and you're not able to do that and you want just the app you're using to be in focus what you can do is you can hit com option command edge on your keyboard and it will hide all the apps and just keep the app you are using on focus and trust me this is a very handy feature and to be honest it gives me peace of mind okay like cycling between open windows and open apps if you have many windows open in the same app like in safari i have many windows open and if i do this command tab again i'll cycle between apps but what if i don't want to cycle between the apps but the open windows so now all you have to do is hit command and the grave key the key above the tab key and it, you will cycle very conveniently between the open tabs you have in the same app and if you want to cycle backwards all you have to do is shift command and that grave key and you'll cycle backwards in that app and if you have many windows open if i press command w it will close that window instead of closing that app for good if you want to close the app for good you hit command q on your keyboard and it will close that app for you there are only a few shortcuts in this set but if you are someone like me who only likes to navigate through your macbook using the keyboard and not use the trackpad or your mouse well then these shortcuts are perfect for you the first one is option command d to hide the dock option command d again to unhide the dock and if you are using you are in some app or something if you want to use the dock instead of using the trackpad or your mouse all you can do is you have to hit control f3 if you have a touch bar macbook control fn and f3 and now the focus will come directly on the dock you can choose one of the app select it from here directly if you want to use something from this menu bar and you don't want to use the mouse all you have to do is hit command and forward slash and it will take you to that menu bar you can use the arrow keys to navigate wherever you want and choose something from that menu bar and beside that menu bar you have the status bar if you want to go to the status bar all you have to do is hit command and the right bracket and you'll come this you'll come to this menu bar and you can choose whatever you want from here sorry the status menu taking screenshots on a mac it's pretty easy and it's the best part of a mac actually all you have to do is hit shift command in three and it will take screenshot of the whole window something like this but what if you don't want to take a screenshot of the whole window all you have to do is hit shift command in four and it will give you this option to make a selection make a selection wherever you want leave it and it will take screenshot of that selection what if if you want to make a selection and you made a wrong selection you wanted to change the selection hit shift command four something like this i have made a selection but i want to change the selection i can't do it directly from here hit the space bar and now you can move the box anywhere on the screen and take a screenshot wherever you want leave it and it will take that screenshot very conveniently if you want all the options before taking the screenshot hit shift command 5 and it will give you all these options here to capture the entire screen or record the entire screen and it will give you all these options as well on your macbook the last set of shortcuts but the best one this is using spotlight if you don't know what is spotlight hit command spacebar on your macbook you'll get this option to type anything you can search anything really on your macbook and you have all these menus here documents bookmarks and history and all that stuff and if you don't want to scroll like this what you can do is you can hit command and the down arrow key and now you'll you'll be able to browse between the menus rather than using the arrow keys and going like this all the way up and after finding what you need if this is what I need, all you have to do is hit command R and this will open that file wherever it is located using finder. So there it is. The file now has been opened in the finder. If you hold the command in spacebar instead of just pressing it like this, if you keep it holding command in spacebar, you'll get Siri just like this and you can ask Siri to do anything. Maybe. So this is all for this video guys. Make sure to be subscribed and notified for upcoming useful videos like this. And thanks for watching this video. My name is Mufaddal. This is Apple Whites. Take care. I will see you in the next video.